everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today I thought I would just do a quick speed clean of my kitchen. We have just got back from a busy day out and the kitchen is a little bit of a mess. It's not too messy. Some of you will probably think it's not even messy at all, but to me it's quite messy. There's stuff in the sink that needs putting away. The dishwasher needs emptying. There's a few items of shopping here that I need to put away. And the house is just quite dusty because we've got currently got builders outside the house doing some work on the wall and it's making lots of dust come through the dining room, which is all over the dining room floor because it's coming through the floorboards. So yeah, I just thought I'd do a little quick speed clean of my kitchen. If you like these types of videos, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. And if you'd like to find out how I clean my kitchen, then please just keep watching. So I'm going to start off by putting all the things away in the fridge. And can't forget the mince pies, I'm absolutely obsessed with these. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know how much I love mince pies. Then I'm just going to stick an Aldi bag back away where all my bags go. And then I'm going to start emptying the dishwasher. all the clean things out of the dishwasher I will then reload it up with all the dirty things and just wash up the wooden board that we have just to chop potatoes on and stuff because that needs a good wash and that definitely can't go in the dishwasher so I'm going to give that a good wash and then put that back in its place off putting some of the things away that came from the dishwasher that are all clean just putting them back in their places get my trusty method antibacterial spray out and just give the work top a good clean anyone has an agar you'll know that it is really difficult to clean them because they just get so dirty and obviously they're warm constantly so it's really hot all the time and it's really difficult to clean and it just gets so dusty because it comes down the chimney there so anyway yeah it takes me forever to clean the agar all the time Also just give the island a good clean down, just give it a nice wipe and get rid of any marks on it.
onto the sink now I'm just going to give it a quick clean with this cream cleaner which smells like lemon it smells really really nice just give it a quick clean down with a sponge and then I will go over it with microfiber cloth just to make sure it's all sparkling and clean I'm then just going to put some of this warm cinnamon disinfectant in the sink because it smells so nice and Christmassy and just leave that in the sink to set for a bit and it makes the kitchen smell really nice and Christmassy Finally, I'm just going around the kitchen with my amazing new floor mop which I got from B&M's and it is just so good, it sprays out at you and it's just really really good, it was only £6.50 and such a bargain and it's my new favourite toy to play with and I absolutely love cleaning floors now because I've got this new gadget. The last thing I like to do is light a candle and this one is the gingerbread one from Home Baggins and it smells so good. I'm so glad the kitchen is all lovely and clean now and I can sit down and relax. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos and I will see you all in my next one. Bye guys!